Let's talk oil, but not the kind you drizzle on your salad. We're talking about one of the world's most valuable resources, crude oil, and not just any crude oil. We're talking about sweet crude oil. Now you might be wondering, what exactly makes crude oil sweet? Is it somehow sugary? Is there such a thing as sour oil too? And why does any of this even matter? Whether you've heard this term on the news or just always wondered what's flowing through those giant pipelines, this is your chance to find out. So grab a coffee and let's unravel what sweet crude oil really is and why the world is so obsessed with it. Right here on History of Simple Things. First, we need to take a step back. Before we get to the sweet part, let's just talk about crude oil itself. Crude oil is essentially a thick, dark liquid that comes from deep underground. It's the result of millions of years of heat and pressure acting on ancient organic matter, mainly plankton and plants. Over time, this organic soup turned into hydrocarbons, which is a fancy word for molecules made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms. These hydrocarbons are what power your car, heat your home, and make everything from plastic bags to prescription drugs. Now, crude oil isn't uniform. It comes in all kinds of flavors. Some are thick and heavy like molasses, others are light and flow easily. And here's where the term sweet enters the conversation. The sweetness of crude oil has nothing to do with how it tastes, although early oil prospectors in the 1800s apparently did taste it to judge quality. Yes, really. The term sweet refers to the sulfur content in the oil. Sweet crude oil has very low levels of sulfur, generally less than 0.5%. Sour crude oil, on the other hand, contains a higher percentage of sulfur. So why does sulfur matter? Because it's a troublemaker. When oil with high sulfur content is refined, it releases sulfur dioxide, a gas that contributes to acid rain and is harmful to both humans and the environment. Refining sour crude is more complex, more expensive, and requires more sophisticated equipment to remove that sulfur. Sweet crude, by contrast, is cleaner, easier to refine, and results in fewer emissions. That's why it's in such high demand globally. It's like the premium fuel of the oil world. You might be surprised to learn that sweet crude oil is often a bit lighter in color compared to its sour counterparts. It can range from light brown to even a translucent golden hue. It also tends to be more fluid, less thick and sludgy than heavy crudes. And when it comes to smell, sweet crude doesn't have the strong rotten egg odor that sour crude does. That stench, it's the sulfur compounds. In sweet crude, those compounds are almost non-existent, which is why it earned its gentle nickname. In technical terms, sweet crude also has a high API gravity. This is an oil industry measurement that essentially tells you how heavy the oil is compared to water. The higher the API gravity, the lighter and more valuable the oil. Sweet crude typically has an API gravity of 35 to 40 or even higher, making it a prime candidate for refining into gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Sweet crude isn't everywhere, and that's part of what makes it so valuable. Some of the best-known sweet crude oil sources include the United States, particularly from the Permian Basin in Texas and the Bakken Formation in North Dakota. These light sweet crudes are among the most desirable because they are cheap to refine and produce high yields of gasoline and other fuels. Globally, Nigeria is a major player when it comes to sweet crude. The country's Bonnie Light and Kwaibo crudes are highly sought after due to their low sulfur content and excellent refining characteristics. Libya and Algeria also have sweet crude, although geopolitical instability often complicates access. 
And then there's Brent crude, perhaps the most famous sweet crude in the world. It's sourced from the North Sea and serves as a global benchmark for oil prices. Brent is light, sweet, and incredibly influential. When you hear oil prices quoted on the news, there's a good chance it's referring to Brent crude. So why does sweet crude get all the love? To put it simply, it's easier and cheaper to turn into the stuff we need. Gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, heating oil, even the base chemicals for plastics. All of these can be more efficiently produced from sweet crude. That means lower refinery costs, fewer environmental headaches, and more profit for oil companies. Refineries built for sweet crude are generally less complex and cheaper to operate. This is especially important for countries that are rapidly expanding their fuel consumption but may not yet have advanced refining capabilities. That's why sweet crude is such a big deal on the global stage. It can go from the ground to the pump with fewer obstacles in between. Also, with stricter environmental regulations being rolled out worldwide, many countries are trying to transition towards cleaner energy sources, or at least cleaner fuel inputs. Sweet crude fits neatly into that narrative. It still emits carbon dioxide, of course, but it doesn't come with the extra baggage of sulfur oxides and other pollutants. That brings us to a big question. Is sweet crude oil the future or just a stepping stone? The world is certainly shifting toward renewable energy, but oil still plays a massive role in our daily lives. Even as we build more wind farms and solar panels, the demand for cleaner burning fuels hasn't disappeared. If anything, it's become more specific. People want fewer emissions without giving up performance. Sweet crude oil offers that middle ground. It's not clean in the way solar or wind is, but it's cleaner than its heavier, dirtier counterparts. So while the long-term future may be electric, the near-term future, especially in industries like aviation and long-haul shipping, will still rely on high-quality petroleum. And that means sweet crude will continue to be a VIP in the energy world. So the next time you hear the term sweet crude oil, you'll know it's not just oil with a pleasant personality. It's a specific, high-quality type of crude that's low in sulfur, high in value, and essential to modern life. From gasoline to jet fuel to heating your home, sweet crude keeps the engine of civilization running just a little more smoothly. And while the energy landscape continues to evolve, this golden liquid remains a key player on the world stage. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.